Hello, I'm Scott Vance and this channel is really just me keeping you up to date with the latest science news and explaining some science. On Thursday the 25th of August this year, some research was released about the discovery of a planet made of diamonds, about one-eighth of the way between us and the centre of the Milky Way. This planet has slightly more mass than Jupiter, and it's about 20 times as dense. It's got a diameter of about 5 times the Earth's diameter. This was discovered by Professor Matthew Bales's team from the Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne, Australia. And the reason that this planet is thought to be made of diamond is because that it's made of carbon, and carbon that dense is diamond. This planet is orbiting a pulsar, and one year on this planet is only about 2 hours and 10 minutes. The name of this pulsar is J171914438, and it was discovered several years ago, and it's been known for a while that this pulsar has a companion, but only recently has more information on this companion come back. Now the mass of this planet gives some idea of how it formed. It is thought to have once been a massive star, and that massive star has had some of its matter sucked in by the pulsar. To understand what a pulsar is, you need to know what a neutron star is. Now a neutron star is what's left behind after a supernova when a star dies. It is mass under immense gravity, that all the atoms are crushed together, so it's just a big ball of neutrons, hence neutron stars. And a pulsar is a neutron star that has a strong magnetic field and is spinning extremely rapidly, millions of times every second. Out of the north and south magnetic poles of this neutron star, radio waves are shot out, and that's how we tell that they are there. If we don't detect any radio waves coming from a neutron star, we assume that it's not a pulsar, but they could be, it's just that the radio waves don't cross us. On Wednesday the 24th of August this year, research was released about the discovery of about 100 wide dwarf stars, one of which in particular as it is the record holder for the coldest known star. This was discovered by scientists analysing data from NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE for short. These stars that have been discovered are called wide dwarfs, the coldest one of which is about 25 degrees centigrade which is colder than room temperature. The name of this colder star is WISE 18282650. Another of these dwarf stars is now the seventh closest star to us, only about nine light years away. This star is called WISE 15412250. Now dwarf stars are commonly referred to as failed stars, as their mass is too low for fusion at their core. Now dwarf stars are the only types of stars that don't get their heat from fusion. These stars instead get their heat from radioactive decay at their cores. Now there are four main types of stars. There are dwarf stars, the standard stars, giant stars and supergiant stars. And each of them has different colours associated with them uh, dependent on their temperature. Now these are usually blue, white, yellow, orange and red and brown dwarfs are the coldest of the dwarf stars, and white dwarfs are the coldest members of the brown dwarf family. These white dwarfs have atmospheres very similar to that of Jupiter's, but they are much easier to find than planets like Jupiter, as they are not hidden in the blinding light of the stars and are alone in space. Our own sun, billions of years from now, is going to become a white dwarf after it becomes a red giant, because it's not got enough mass to become a neutron star or black hole. Now the plan was to talk about string theory to finish this off, but I ended up talking for about 7 or 8 minutes, so I'm going to be posting that either later today or tomorrow, so remember to keep in touch to watch that. I'm going to condense it down to about 20 seconds and put some clips of it here so that you know what's going to be coming. Enjoy! String theory, curiosity, basics are matter, atom, quarks, one dimensional string vibrates, ten dimensions, microscopic scale, I really disagree with that, one dimensional world, why are there so many dimensions kind of stuck in? 
Kalibi Yao string theorists, many, many thousands wrapped around different families. Massive special relativity, quantum mechanics. Questions? That's all for today. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and favorite. I'll see you next time.